Today we'll be exploring Wasaki, the most well-known and celebrated festival in the sea calendar. We all know the common narrative, but in this episode we'll go beyond that with the help of J.S. Godawal's Master of the White Hawk and have our questions answered by Dr. Kamaloop Singh. Together we'll explore if women took Amrut. So join us today as we take a journey down the rabbit hole of written sources regarding Wasaki. Be sure to check out the other extracts or listen to the full podcast episode to find out more. And that's a question. Did um, women take on the... They did. They did. Because Chao passing Singh and Amma gives the wrath for women. Why would he include a wrath for women if women didn't take Amrath? Yeah. And that, I remember Chao passing is quoted not... by the... Um, yeah, I um, remember Chao passing is quoted by Bansavri Nama Kisses in Shibari's his ancestor yeah. about him recording that and that has women's code. And so Karpan Amrath, Azul Sadak, give Karpan Amrath. Contrary to public belief, this is not a different... Amrath than Kande Kapal Amrath is the same Amrath but Agarpan is just put through that same Amrath and it's to symbolize femininity and that means a non Kshatri Amrath again but somebody who vows to keep their Kesh and it's called Keshank Amrath and it's for women to who will keep their Kesh doesn't necessarily mean they're going to keep all the rest of the card or going to battle and fight the last one is the one where you go to battle and fight and you keep part of your card. Yeah, yeah. Now, how much sense does that make? Yeah, it makes logical sense. Yeah, yeah, and that, yeah. No, and that explains all the different answer Amrath and Charles, explains all the different Hukam Nammis and all the different accounts. Rather than us trying to attach all of that to one yeah. singular event and one singular trajectory of history. So, Avtar Singh Vahiriya, he did a miracle by putting the seat praxis together. Yes. Because he puts that together and that explains the history itself. You have to look at practices and history together. You can't look at them separately. Yep. And if you just look at history by itself, you have that approach of somebody like, you know, W. H. McLeod, uh, J. S. Gariwal, mm. you know, Grinderman of, of Santa Barbara, now New York. You're going to fall into a well. Mara says about the red, you learn the red from the Khalsa as well. Mm. You have to go amongst Khalsa yeah. them, Vijayke, but go to Baba Mans in Shanamikuri in, in India, India, get party, join the Nahangs, go stay there, learn the Maria. They're not from shitheads like me. Go there, live with the Nahangs in India, join. You know, Different. instead of being internet warriors like I used to be, yeah. and I'm guilty of, go to Punjab, go to see Baba Man Singh, say, I'm here, and learn the Mariyatta. Yeah? yeah, and stay with the Dal for a couple of years. Like, uh, you can go to uni for three years to feed your dead mm -hmm. and your fat belly. If you want to learn Mariyatta, go to India for a few years, learn Santa Gundransa, learn Tanti Sa, stay there for three years, learn your language, learn Punjabi. Even if you're a Western person who's converted to Sikhi, go yeah. there, yeah. stay with Baba Manzin, Chanvi Kururi, uh, Chakravarti, yeah. and learn the Mariyadda. Yeah. 